Hi guys, so today let's make a fire detector. So for that we need an MQ4 sensor. This mainly detects methane and all those nasty gases which will burn. So for this project we need two resistors 220 ohm two LEDs, a red and green, a buzzer, jumper wires, MQ4 sensor and an Arduino. For connection, we also need a teeny miny breadboard. So shall we start? First, let's connect this MQ4 sensor like this. Yeah. So now, if we look towards its back, we can see a few pins. AD, DD, GND and VCC. And next, we need the LED. As you can see, this blue strip, this is the cathode strip. And the red one is the anode strip. But since we need to toggle each LED independently, we'd connect it differently. The anode should be different from the cathode. And you also would need a buzzer. So as you can see, there is a red LED, a green LED, a buzzer, the MQ4 sensor. So next, let's wire it up. Uh, so the LEDs can't resist the 5 volt which the Arduino provides. So let's give it a small backup with the resistors. Let's take the Arduino. I have a red and black wire. Why? Because we are now connecting the anode and the cathode. So the black wire goes to the GND pin and over here. The red wire goes to the 5 volt pin and over here so you take this one and put it on the VCC line And the blue, blue wire, which is going to the cathode in the GND one line. And then, just connect the AD pin to the Arduino. The AD pin tells where, if there is a gas or not. So that means we need to connect it into pin 4. Next, let's connect the green LED to let's say pin 4 and the red LED Pin 2. Uh, over here. And the buzzer can be pin 5. So, this is the pin layout. 
Let's go to the programming. As you can see, I've opened a new tab. Then type Thinkercad. And this link, click it. Then go to circuits. Create new circuit. A breadboard. An Arduino. An LED. And another net. Another LED. Okay. Think again. We don't have a buzzer. We have an alternative for buzzer called a piezo. Piezo. This guy over here. It's a bit too loud, but that's okay. So for this MQ4 sensor, we would be using a slide switch. Because this can give feedback similar to a slide switch. If there is some fire below it, it will sense it and it will send the input to the Arduino. The Arduino processes it and gives the equivalent feedback. Let's connect it to the anode. So we connect the slide switches out to pin 3. Yeah, the red LED is anode pin to pin 2. Uh, the piezo is positive to pin 5. Pin 4 to green. Negative and negative so you connect all this to G and D so next let's go to code input read digital pin 3 and that is M Q 4 So the MQ4 variable is set to pin 3. MQ4 variable. Then we need if then else. Take a math block. This one. If MQ4 is high put pin 2 to be high and also you need the buzzer to beep so you can just uh, put a delay or this block on pin 5 pin Pin 4 should be low. In the else block duplicate it instead of this block to should be low, low and high. So let's duplicate it. And this start simulation so let's copy the code from here to here copy Arduino testing delete 
paste verify done compiling that means it's a success now let's plug in the Arduino and upload done uploading let's take it to fire you can see a lot of smoke so this is how a fire alarm works this particular fire alarm uses an mq4 sensor which detects fire and other nasty gases thank you for watching see you in the next video bye